welcome to the Digital Signage Guide. Today we're going to be asking the question and challenging ourselves to create a whole range of content completely for free out of the Signage Live CMS platform. Now, there are a huge range of services out there that you can use to create your content. You're probably familiar with things like Photoshop and After Effects and Premiere Pro. Or if you're looking at slightly less advanced tools, some really useful and kind of broad spectrum tools like Canva or Scenespire or ScreenFeed. And there's a ton of services that we support and really recommend, especially because of the quality of the content that they produce and the automation that that gives you. However, what we want to do is see what we can create without using any of these services at a start. So if we're not already subscribe to any of these services or we wanted to see what we can build on our own what can we do with the content that's given to us for free now we've got a couple of different examples I'm actually going to go and build our first layout design now when we go to our layout designer we're going to go to content and layouts but what we want to do first of all is find our own layout background so to do that we're going to head to playlist and manage and in here we're going to pick any of the playlists as an example we're going to go with this bright sign image one here and then we're going to access the signage live marketplace now the signage live marketplace has access to a huge range of tools for you so for example if you wanted to go and learn more about screen feed or scene spire or any of these services then you can do however if we head over to the marketplace now we can go and have a look at what's given to us for free i won't go through everything on this list but there are a ton of free services and in fact i'll link to this video kind of top 10 of the apps that are used within the signage live marketplace today one of the most recent additions is secure dashboards but that's a chargeable additional service so we're not going to focus on that today. There are a huge range of things like layout backgrounds, notice boards, things like that that we'll go through today. Now, first of all, we're going to need to go find a layout design that works for us. So I'm just looking for layouts here, layout backgrounds. Let's have a look at corporate communication. Something like this will do us nicely. And again, there's different designs here for portrait, landscape, different zones. Now, this is simply just a JPEG image that's been created that you can go and grab. And obviously, you can build your own here if you're using a tool like Photoshop that's more on brand for you. But again, if we're starting with the default, this is a great starting point. We're going to add this to Signage Live, and that then gets added to our, our, our portfolio of content that we can use. So what we're going to do at this point is look at other content that's really eye-catching and attractive, but is what we would consider very low touch point when it comes to a content management system. So we're not actually going in here daily to make amends to that. A couple of really key ones that often get recommended is clocks. So we can go over to clocks and select the clock that we want. So I'll pick out the clock that I want here. I'm also going to add in a weather widget so we can update our users and our viewers of what the weather's going to be like over the next three days. So we're going to go down to weather and pick one there. There we go, weather. And I prefer the flat style in landscape. And let's go with a three day forecast and we'll add that to signage live as well. So now if we're kind of visualizing what we've built so far, we've got the layout design, we've got clock and weather. Then we've got some other zones that we need to fill as well. So first of all, we want to actually add in a notice board widget. What that will allow you to do is without having to create a piece of content, you can add simple messaging to whatever it might be like staff update notification or something that you'll want to communicate something specifically that you'll need your own verbiage for. So if we head down and I'm going to go over to the notice board app here. I'm going to go to, let's say, generic notice boards, and I'm going to grab something like this. Recognition notice board, and you can notice it says your text here, which you'll be able to amend later, and we're going to add that to Signage Live as well. Now, on top of that, in this experience, a lot of people tend to have a lot of videos stored on YouTube already. Now, you can obviously download that video file and then upload it to Signage Live, and that would be our recommended steps, honestly, because the benefit of that is, A, it's stored locally on the player, so it doesn't have to have that continuous online presence to be able to display it. But just to show what the tool can do, should you just want to quickly go and grab some content, I'm going to add the YouTube widget in there as well. Finally, on top of that, to really push the boundaries of what we can do for free, we're actually going to go to the calendar app and we're going to go grab some calendar information. That way we can actually use our Google calendars or our Office 365 account and display the upcoming events that are happening, again, without any charge at all. So going over to calendar and you can see we've got our, let's go with just a generic calendar tool. And I'm actually going to pick this one because it's nice and plain. And I'm actually going to surround this with this layout design. So I don't want it too branded because actually there's, there's more going on, on around the screen. And I want this to be nice and clear and defined. So now we've got our pieces of content that we want to do. We want to build these into our own playlists. So we've got a playlist for each one of them, a playlist for clock, weather, YouTube, notice board, and the calendar as well. Now I'm not going to take you through every step here because we want to keep this kind of nice and compacted. But what we've done is made one of those earlier. So if I go to my playlist manager and go to my recently added 
or recently updated. You can see here, I've got calendar, weather, recognition, clock, notice board, and some other ones that you can see running around here at the moment. So now that we've got this playlist, what we're gonna to need to do is design our layout. And I've done that as well. So I've gone to my layout designer and I've gone to our demo playlist like so. And you can see what I've configured is a range of zones. I'm gonna have my weather on the top left. I'm gonna have my clock on the right. I'm gonna have my calendar right in the center. And on the right top and bottom, we're going to have a YouTube video and we're gonna have updates with the Noticeboard app. All of this is done without any additional cost. So it's all been created. And some of this really beneficially will just update itself. Like the calendar will pull from Google calendars automatically. The clock and the weather are very much passive and they'll create and display that content themselves. And the YouTube widget could actually be programmed to display a playlist of content. So should that playlist update itself or the team that's responsible for that content goes and adds a new video to the playlist, it will automatically update itself as well. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is publish this. So I'm gonna send this and I'm gonna publish this to my player over here so we can display it right Right now I'm going to play it from now on until further notice I'm going to select the layout design that I want demo playlist no external content and simply select what I wanted to display so in my main zone we're going to go and display the calendar integration on the top left let's go and select weather on the top right we're going to go and select the time top right again let's go and find that notice board app and on the bottom right we're then going to go grab our YouTube content all right, now that that's all configured, each zone has something displaying for free from the marketplace. We're finally gonna go down to select the players that we want to publish this to, and we're gonna select this device here. Okay, and that's been published. Now we'll just give it a few minutes and we'll see it turn up on the screen. Whilst we're actually waiting for that to load in, I just wanted to give you a preview of this. This is actually our browser player, which is a player that can be emulated of any design that you've got on Signage Live and then displayed via a URL to an unlimited amount of users for those that are working from home. So as well as being able to communicate this on our digital signage, we can actually replicate this message. One of the biggest benefits of the browser player, the broadcast player that we're looking at here, is that all of the content that we're using from the marketplace is HTML5 or, or basically web page content, which means that it will display exactly the same as it would do on this screen in here as well. The biggest benefit of that means that you'll be able to have the same channel of conversation, the same content, the same updates that you want to de deliver, but without having to replicate that message and those working from home will be able to see exactly the same messages as those that are in the staff or staff waiting room or whatever it might be. Okay, so a couple of minutes have passed and now we have everything up and running on our screen. On the furthest left hand side there we can see the calendar integration. I'll do it a bit of a zoom in here so you can see that a little bit clearer. And then we've got the notice board and the YouTube widget with the clock and weather. And all of this is running automatically without any additional cost to you as a content creation tool. Now we do have a huge amount of services out there that we support and recommend. So things like Descript and Canva and SodaClick and SceneSpire and ScreenFeed. There's loads out there that you can utilize to add that additional next step when it comes to the quality of the content that you build. Build. And obviously on top of that, you might have a team or a department that builds this for you. But what this means is you can actually mix and match all of the content that you want. So if you want to use some of the notice boards because they're quick and they're easy and you don't need to put in a ticket to your team to create this content, you can simply manage this yourself. Or even you want to give a user within your digital signage platform access to just this zone to be able to create their own messaging, then you can achieve this as well. But everything on this screen was at zero cost and included in the CMS and you can pick and lift and choose those bits that you need. If you've got any questions, if you'd like to speak to us further about your digital signage project, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, we'll speak to you on the next one. Thank you.